What's up guys, Sarkaic Zeus, and this is a first look at A Wizard's Lizard, a brand new, very new indie game by Lost Decade Games. It is a roguelike, sort of. In money aspects, it is a roguelike, and in a couple others, it isn't. And in, it's almost exactly like Binding of Isaac, so let's hop in there and show you a bit. Um, I've skipped over the tutorials, but it's very simple. It's Binding of Isaac-like, where you shoot back and forth like so, and ta-da, blah 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 Anyways, there are some certain features in this game that I find extremely interesting, and hopefully I'll be able to showcase those as we go along. But one of the few things is that in your journeys through, you find group, uh, blueprints, blueprints that after you find them, you are then able to access those blueprints. This shopkeeper here can then sell those items of those blueprints that you found, which is terribly awesome. Uh, other thing that I think is a really amazing feature is the museum. Now, the museum in this game basically is a bit of a trophy room, I should say, uh, where it basically shows you everything that you've accomplished. So. This is the Hall of Muck. These are monsters that I've killed. Of course, you can see by the empty pedestals, those are monsters that I might not have killed. And it not only shows the monsters that you've killed, but it also, in other rooms, shows you the weapons you've collected and le legendary artifacts and lost treasures that you've collected and stuff. I've played a little of the game, of course. I think I've played maybe about an hour or so to t play test the game. Um, and the other feature that makes this not so much a roguelike like a true hardcore roguelike blah 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 is the fact that you can get townspeople that uh, I haven't gotten any because I'm bad at the game but I'm assuming show up in the tavern and are able to do certain things or give you certain things so uh, let's see if we can get my first townsperson in this little playthrough here for you and uh, in order to start the game here you just go and you uh, start your mission or your journey rather and there are three different areas, it looks like. I, like I said, I'm bad at the game, so I haven't really unlocked it. But every single run-through, the paths, the paths that you can take are totally randomized. Control scheme is very simple. Just use your WASD keys and your um, your arrow keys, as well as spacebar. Those are the, that's it, though. It's very simple, very much Binding of Isaac-like. And I apologize, ow. And I apologize if you hear my keyboard a lot. I have um, a mechanical keyboard, so hopefully you can't hear it too much. But if you can, oh God, I'm bad at this game. But if you can, I apologize. As you can see, very binding of Isaac. God, I'm so bad at this game. Now, those ghosts don't affect me, and hopefully I'll be able to show off why they don't actually affect me. But anyways, we'll continue on. Like I said, control scheme is very smooth, the animations are great, the story behind it is very great, and I'm actually a little disappointed I didn't really quite show you the tutorialized area in this game, but it's actually really, really cool. You are a, literally, a wizard's lizard, hence the title of the, of the uh, game, and the wizard that uh, you were a lizard of <laughs> is has been captured by death himself because he found a way to um, control life and death, as it were. So your journey is, through these dungeons is to reach death and ultimately kill him, I'm assuming. Like I said, I haven't really gotten too far. I'm pretty bad at the game. Um, but other than that, there's just a lot of really cool... I, I just, I really, really like the aesthetics of the game, the art style is just phenomenal. The game looks great. The game looks absolutely great. It plays phenomenally. It, there's really very few gripes that I have. Very few. One, of course, is that you can't go true full screen, like borderless or whatever. Um, but maybe that'll be added in the future. Who knows? My only other complaint, really, for this game, and that's really not saying much since there's just so much to praise the game on. My only real complaint, ah, ooh, ha, ha My only real complaint is that the things like the museum and the townspeople weren't really tutorialized very well. 
but it, it, it just really was ow. Ooh, I hate owls. I hate these owls. I hate these owls. I hate these owls. Ah! Um, <laughs> it, it just wasn't tutorialized enough. <laughs> Back to what I was saying. Just, I don't think it was tutorial. It wasn't tutorialized at all, really. It was just kind of, they just kind of were there and you had to figure it out on your own, which is perfectly fine. I just like a bit more tutorial with it. That would be all. Um, the controls, of course, are explained to you very briefly in a tutorialized uh, way. It just pops up on screen, it tells you how to do it, and you're done. You move on with your life. Um, but like I said, my main problem is that, that the townspeople, the museum, and the shop aren't really explained too much. It might be that some of that stuff might be explained when you actually find a townsperson, or maybe when you find an artifact. But I would have liked that explained a little bit more, because it gives me a more sense of purpose, other than, you know, crawling through these dungeons here, trying to find, you know, my my wizard, as a loyal lizard would. Oh, come on, come on, come on, buddy. Come on, I dare you. Woo! Come on. Ah! These guys are scary. I'm Like I said, I'm really bad at this game, and I'm sure you guys are like, wow, you are bad at this game, you were not lying. I do, I do not lie, sirs. I do, or ma'ams. I do not lie. I am really not good at this game. I've, I'm not very good at Binding of Isaac either, and honestly, Binding of Isaac, I prefer this game over Binding of Isaac simply because this game has a bit more, is a bit more rewarding, I find, in, like, the fact that you find the artifact. Ah, oh, god damn, I'm so stupid. Uh, the fact that you find these artifacts, the museum system is great, and of course finding these townspeople and the blueprints and etc, etc. There's a sense of accomplishment, as opposed to Binding of Isaac. Very randomized, I mean yes it's skill based, but it, a lot of it would rely on very randomized things. I think I might have just found my first townsperson, if I can survive this room. Which, with this bat, oh batty 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 batty, ah! With this batty 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 I can do it. I can do it. Thank you for saving me. Okay, so now what? Do did I actually save you or? Oh no 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 no! Die 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 die! Ha ha! Um. Oh no no no! Stop. Be nice. No no. Ah. Okay, good. I took care of that. Batty batty bat 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 bat. Die. Okay, so I did save him. He disappeared from the room. So that's pretty awesome. We just got our first townsperson, so I can actually show that off in this video. Wow, fate has smiled upon me this day. Um, I might not be able to show you much past the first level, though, but that's kind of okay for time constraint reasons. Honestly, eh, it's pretty okie dokie. I'm not gonna attack the owls first, because those owls piss me off. I found the best way to deal with them is try to go at max range and then just fire rapidly and hit them the, you know, the amount of times that you need. Ooh, interesting. What? Ooh, food. Nice. Beautiful. Blow that up. So those were monsters. Interesting. Why? Oh! That was not nice. That was very rude. Wow. Nope, food does. Ah. Oop, nothing more food. I like this room. This room is nice. No, 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 no. No, I lied. Stop. Good boy. Whew. And a large portion of this game is opening everything, very Binding of Isaac-like. But like I said, I'm not as big of a fan of Binding of Isaac as I am with this game. Binding of Isaac I maybe played for like two hours and then gave up. Partially because I'm bad at the game, like I've obviously uh, shown that I'm bad at this game. Um, but just because there wasn't enough of a reward system. Ah, and this is why you farm the gold, my friends. So we can get, either get a health potion. I, it's another thing too, like I know roguelikes are not really supposed to explain things to you because it's part of the fun. I know for a fact that this thing is a health boost, we don't really need that. Um, there's a spear, which I've never used a spear before. Oh no, that is not fair. What the fuck? No. No, that was rude. Oh no. That was a mistake. Oh, wait, if I attack him, it- oh, but he closes the door. Oh no. Oh no. I like the spear though. Spear's pretty awesome. Oh wow. Oh, this is this was a bad idea. Oh boy. All right, come at me, bitch. Ah! Oh no no no! Oh my god! This is ridiculous. New item acquired. Lantern. Yeah, but 
I might die because I accidentally hit the shopkeeper. Oh no 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 no! You need to die. You need to die, my friend. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 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 I did not sign up for this. Oh no 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 uh, probably boss room coming up very- yep, this is the boss room, but we have some pretty sweet stuff as long as I don't take too much damage. We should be pretty good to go. Ah, I know your mechanics, you rat bastard. Oh, these exploding things are not- oh, oh no. Are not the most, uh, and you don't have to mash the button like I do, it's just something I end up doing because I'm bad at the game. You can just hold it down- oh, no, 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 no. These spears go a long way. I like these. These are nice. Oh no, I almost walked into that. And they do the same damage as that axe or the dagger we had. This, these are nice. I like these and I got it for free, didn't I? Because I'm accidentally, you know. Yeah, this guy's mechanics are pretty simple. You just, he just, he has three basic attacks, pretty much. That one where he spins around that you saw me get hit by. Um, this one where you just stand still and it gets longer and then shorter. And then the one where he flings it out at a wall. And he then pulls back to him. So he has a couple opportunities to attack. Everything has a lot of HP, but it's not too difficult. You just, it just takes a little while. So I might actually be able to show you the next level. Cause, I mean, I'm bad at the game, but I'm not that bad, I guess. I mean, I'm bad, but hey. I did something right, I suppose, right? Oh no, you're walking fast again. Aha! That's a good time to wail on him right there. Ooh, almost ate it there. Ha ha ha! Oh no, 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 And I'm not walking on those dirt piles because those dirt piles like to summon more zombies. Zombies. Zombies? Mommy zombies? Oh no, like that. Like I just did because that was my only way out. So. Come on. Aha! Gotcha, buddy. And I have a decent amount of time to attack him. He's just below half health right now. Come on, hit, 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 hit. There you go. So I should be able to kill him in maybe three more cycles of his shit. And the other thing I like in this game too is that there's that number health system. So people who are bad at the game like me have a lot more tries, definitely. Um, I actually think I am gonna only show you the first floor though, to keep the game exciting when you guys get it and play it for your first time and interesting. Um, but also just because I want to show off another feature that's pretty cool. So I am actually, well maybe not in this room, mm, do I wanna, do I wanna do that to myself? Yeah, I'll do that to myself. Alright, I'm gonna kill myself, but you'll see here for a reason why I'm gonna do that. Alright, I just gotta give it a little bit. Or I could, I might actually end up killing him suicide bombing wise. Maybe. There you go. Okay, see, so when you die, you actually end up coming back. And all those ghosts that you see that don't really affect me all that much, come after you. And you can continue, you have an extra 100 life, so you technically have two lives. However, when you die, certain things get harder. Like you see there, these little spawner things that I now have to take care of on top of all the zombies I have to fight. So it gets a little, ooh. And then the ghosts, so even if you kill something, it might not actually kill it. So it does make the game more difficult, but it gives you an extra chance if you're bad at the game, like me. So it's a really, really nice feature that I strongly appreciate. And it also just adds, you know, really cool stuff to it. Like, that key that you saw, surrounded by walls, if I go back to that when I'm dead, like this, I'll be able to go through those walls. Those walls won't exist for me. So, it really, really cool features like that. It's really neat. Ow. Uh, come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, come on. Aha! I can probably kill him right here. Yep, there it is. And you don't really get anything for killing the boss other than being able to go past the boss room. And it's basically the same bosses from what I can tell. Oh, you can get the chest room here, which I just got, which is nice. New item acquired. Ooh, boom spear. 
Ba -ba -ba boom I actually kind of want to use this a little bit. This is cool. Dungeon completed. I don't really know what these are. Um, I guess it shows you the three different levels. Because the next one we're going to go into is the, the sewer. I guess we were in the graveyard? Yeah, so we're now in the sewer. Um, I don't really know... Lots of money. Interesting. Okay. Well, we are actually going to kill ourselves really quickly because I do want to see what that townsperson does. And yes, I am going to kill myself on purpose. Sorry, this isn't a roguelike playthrough. This is me showing off the game at its finest. And honestly, this game is really awesome. Um, it'll be $15 on release, and it is currently in the Steam Greenlight, but you can buy it on Desura. So there will be a link in the do the, the, the description, that word. We're going to click play again, of course, just because I want to see. And it takes you right back to the town of Amberfall. We now have a villager here. I love playing sports ball. So what is... Can I fling this at him? Is that a thing? Is that all he does? But what? I love playing sports ball. So maybe when you find other town people, maybe when you complete levels, you'll get special town people that do special things. I don't know. There's got to be a way to get the money from here to buy these things, because I would find it hard to believe that they would just put a bunch of stuff here and blueprints, make a whole blueprint system for things you actually can't buy. But anyways. This has been a wizard's lizard, and like I said, $15. Vote for it on Steam Greenlight. I appreciate you guys very, very much for watching. And uh, go and support Lost Decade Games. This is, they made a good one. I enjoy it. Like I said, only complaint is that a couple things weren't necessarily tutorialized, and, you know, there weren't as many descriptions on items or things as I'd like. But I also like to be babied. So, you know, hey, whatever. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget that like and that subscribe button if you want to see more stuff like this. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.